If you would like to experience the awakening of your spirit senses, then watch this video because in this video I'm going to help you understand what it is that you really want to be doing so that you can experience the true sight, your true spirit senses. Many people feel naturally drawn to opening up their psychic vision so that they can see and see through their spirit senses and one mistake that I often is quite common when wanting to pursue this path is that we think that we have to do a lot of things in order to allow ourselves to see with a deeper deeper more expanded multi-dimensional dimensional eyes our multi-dimensional spirit eyes and we don't need to add anything and in fact that's quite often the problem is that we think that there's something blocking um, us, you know, that, that, that our eyes are blocked and we can't see what we want to see, that there's that we're not open enough. And when we speak like that or think like that, sometimes it can actually create more obscurations because of the way we relate to those words, the way we relate to the meaning, the way we map and organize our mind about what that means and then what we need to do in order to be able to get what we want can be quite muddling and lacking in clarity. So I just wanted to uh, share some, hopefully what will be clarifying for you on this topic. And what it is, is that unless, unless you're forcing your vision to be expanded through drugs or through really strong breathing patterns and breathe breath packing so packing the breath in the body then if you're using just more soft gentle techniques which I think is way better much much safer as well you're going to find that it's more about being able to see more of what is already there that that vision that expanded multi-dimensional vision of being able to see auras and colors and not just that but actually be able to see where people are really coming from and be able to map many many things to many many levels and within many many dimensions so opening up the multi-dimensional spirit senses just say of the eyes it's also the ears uh, the senses all senses not just the eyes but if when we want to do this what actually it's about is that we're able to see more of what is already there we're able to see more of what is already there. So often we come at it from a, a, per, a perception and a, and a place of lack that we don't have it or that it's blocked and it, we've got to somehow like draw it out and do all these things to bring it there. And that doing of all these things often actually makes it harder and creates more blockages and more veils and more obscurations and more fabrications Whereas what we want to be doing is dissolving and subtracting and letting go and releasing.
I talked about how the awareness is like a window and we place curtains and veils like illusions, for example, over the window. But underneath the window is always there. And we might have, you know, like two metres thick of curtains and we wonder why we can't see properly. Now, that seeing properly is there. It's just that we need less obscurations and we need less veils. And we do that through releasing, through really understanding the mechanics, through really understanding the qualities that help us let go. The qualities that help us let go means that we then are interested in having a practice that is principle-based. When we are practicing with principles and the principles are guiding us, we then conform to those principles and we conform to those qualities as a practice so that we are then able to experience the essence and meaning and experience them experientially. And we do that through letting go. And those qualities of letting go are starting with relaxation. I have a video here on that the power of relaxation, it's softening. Through softening, we have expansion, we have more space, so spaciousness, and through that, we have more letting go. And that's the way that we're able to see with our psychic senses, hear with our psychic ears, and awaken all of our spiritual senses. The more we let go, the more we unveil all that we have put in in place that has obscured us from what is already there. So a lot of the time when people get into the process of letting go, so many of my clients don't start out wanting to uh, open up their spirit senses, but through the transmissions and the practices and the support that we give them through the sacred gates, they actually end up being able to see much more clearly and map much more clearly, hear more clearly. Yeah smell their psychic senses open up and that's just because they've done so much releasing so it's actually often often just a natural effect of the cause of letting go so the the letting go is the cause and the natural the natural the natural effect is that you're unveiled and then you can see what is already there thanks for tuning in guys i hope this video has been helpful if you found value in this video please like it Subscribe if you haven't already and share this video with anybody else that is interested in learning how to release, let go and experience their true multidimensional self beyond what you've ever experienced before. Thanks for tuning in guys. Bye bye for now.